at a certain moment in my life I realized although I was uh, a very good student I was first in my class at the University of Pennsylvania I took more courses than everybody had the highest average I didn't know very much I couldn't I knew only what I was taught I realized I was kind of an empty bucket and uh, I was uncomfortable I wanted to only put in my bucket what I really understood really understood so for a long time I didn't have much in my bucket and I had this epiphany that I was kind of a dumb guy that uh, I didn't want to fool myself I couldn't read hard books I couldn't I couldn't understand a lot of stuff I couldn't understand it well enough to tell somebody else to explain something so I realized that what I would try to do was make use of my curiosity because I couldn't use make use of my brain um, the expression is I wasn't the sharpest knife in the drawer I was very clever very clever I could see patterns I could see patterns where other people didn't see patterns uh, patterns of connection between ideas and subjects and thoughts really good at that in fact I'm quite good at that but you know it comes to reading a hard book or following some complicated lecture I'm off I'm just nowhere I can't do it it's just so damn boring to me most things are boring to me I get bored brushing my teeth in the morning so things that I was curious about I saw where they connected where they fit into patterns and then I realized I was inherently really quite lazy you know I'd sit play solitaire or I'd watch television all day so my laziness I had to figure out what would make me not lazy so when I really got curious about something I told everybody I was going to do a book about it because the only stronger emotion I had than laziness was I wanted to avoid humiliation so I could avoid humiliation by actually doing the book if I didn't do the book didn't do the project I was humiliated so I pushed myself into doing things so then I ended up today having done 81 books on probably 50 different subjects that's it it's not very hard I'm a simple guy you know I'm really simple I simply get interested in something and I figure out how to explain it to myself now I'm also charming and I know how to convince other people to help me so you take what you have I mean that's what I have I'm a little crude, I'm charming, I'm honest, and uh, absolutely tenacious. You know, I, my hooks are in. So that's it. My life's mission is to clear up the mess in my head. Yeah, well, we all have a mess if we're, if we're honest with ourselves. Just trying to connect things so there is a clear pattern. Uh, is to assuage my curiosity uh, see emperor penguins sit on their eggs in the south pole um, land on an aircraft carrier um, do a book about dogs uh, see a volcanic eruption um, do a big event and be on the stage the whole time uh, control an audience control a day control my life control quality uh, think up a new idea uh, have a good night's sleep not have so much gas in the morning I mean it's just I don't have this big mission I'm, not, I'm, a, I'm such I'm just a I'm just a guy I just uh, I know what I am and I know I think I know most of my strong points I've been so fortunate that by being in a number of people's minds rather abrasive uh, <clears throat> not necessarily loved by all that I meet that I've been allowed to survive and survive in style and for the last for most of my life even when I was financially a failure a failure as far as having anything to do it eventually I didn't stop I didn't change and eventually I became you know comfortable more comfortable with myself and more comfortable with life and people became at least 
respectful and comfortable enough to, to allow me to make a living. So a uh, great fortune. So my mission is uh, to hopefully engender that. Maybe it engenders that in others. Give people permission. I thought what I tried to do in my talk day before yesterday, which I think helped the audience, was to give them permission to say what was on their minds a little bit more than they would have. Get rid of their self-consciousness and their anxiety because they saw, shit, I wasn't self-conscious or anxious about things. So, but that's not my mission. I'm not trying to proselytize. I don't really care. Uh, I, I don't really care. Uh, I really care about the next thing that I see and learn. I'm not PC. That's it. Thank you. That's unique. I love it. I love it. <laughs> okay. Well. Thank you, Richard. <laughs> I'm consistent. You know that.